What is the optimal in-store presence? In regards to in-store, um, <clears throat> there are many different ways to communicate. Um, one is uh, your own, uh, uh, your own um, signals you want to send uh, by putting up signs uh, or uh, writing uh, uh, prices and stuff like that. Another thing is what your goods are representing and how you present them. Uh, so it's, it's very much a mix of what the, the consumer actually comes to acquire. Uh, uh, and uh, on top of that, what you actually want to want to tell them when you are there. Um, and uh, as we are right now in Quickly, we are working very much uh, to to balance these two things. So uh, our assortment has to have a, a very high um, uh, priority in what the shopper will uh, experience when they are uh, in our shops. So do you have any ideal mix? How many messages should come from the product? How many messages should be more on a brand level or should be with you as the sender? Uh, we, d we don't have an exact number of uh, how much communication uh, you get from, from either. But uh, definitely uh, you have to, you have to uh, uh, lower uh, your, uh, your own uh, signals when people are there because it has to be very easy. And that's one of the code words for us, that you have to be very, uh, it has to be very easy to navigate um, because what you are here for is buying, uh, buying a, a good. But um, of course we would like to tell the customer what, uh, what we think, uh, what we mean, uh, and also of course get them to buy more. Uh, but. Um, <coughs> More, uh, a, uh, a better shop layout actually uh, does more for you than, than uh, putting up big signs saying uh, 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 something about prices or whatever you want to uh, tell. So, so toning down the big corporate signs, letting the products speak for themselves and, and the master layout of the store is key. Yeah. And, and, and as I said, the navigation must be very clear. Uh, then you have different uh, digital uh, possibilities in regards to telling more to people via uh, apps or uh, QR codes uh, and uh, everyone is bringing a phone today. So uh, that, that's a way for people, if you want to know more, uh, actually to uh, acquire that information uh, without us having to put it on a big poster. So what is the, the number one thing? Uh, which is key to, to increase sales and earnings in, in stores? Well, actually, uh, the number one thing happens before people enter the shop. Um, if you have the right uh, layout for the shop, uh, if it's easy to, to, to be there, if people have a good feeling, uh, they, will, they will come again. But what happens before you enter the shop today is uh, what you think, uh, where is the prices in, to, in regards to what, what I want as a customer and what is the values of, of the store, uh, what do they represent. That is actually uh, nearly as important as what you write inside the, 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 the shop um, on, a, on a sign today. Because the loyalty you will not build uh, when people are in, uh, in the shop um, with signs. You have to build it with experience, and experience can be uh, pre or uh, during the visit. So you mentioned uh, smartphones and, and QR codes early on. Uh, do you see that shopping behavior is, uh, is affected by digital media and, and smartphones? Definitely, definitely. Um, as we spoke of be, uh, before, um, we, we, today we are checking out all sorts of things on our uh, uh, digital phones uh, every day, uh, which means that uh, I know a lot when I enter a, a store or I have a possibility to know a lot. Uh, and I can always, being in a shop, I can check prices in the other supermarkets if I think something is too expensive. Uh, so that would have a direct influence on what I buy. Um, <clears throat> also, I can know uh, or acquire more information in regards to a product, for instance. Um, 
So uh, the transparency in regards to how is it produced, uh, is it, uh, is it um, supporting anything, fair trade uh, and stuff like that, uh, which might mean a lot to, uh, to a lot of people. Uh, I can find out uh, during, uh, on, on digital uh, elements that I bring with me. So, Can you come with an example where you actually know that people's behaviour have been affected by smartphones? An example from your own world? Uh, well, uh, uh, in Quickly we also sell um, non-food products. Um, and uh, of course uh, the, the, this is a bit higher price points than, uh, than the traditional food products that we sell. And um, if people have to buy an iPad or uh, something else, they would definitely check where to get it uh, the cheapest. Often it's on the net, uh, but uh, uh, they, would, they would not never come to us and just buy an iPad uh, um, because it's there. They would, they would check the prices. So on our non-food, we have to be very, very um, focused on what we want to do with, uh, with that category because that, that's typically a, a category where people have checked out what's the prices.